I've done 15 years out of this sentence, 20 in total. Punishment does have to be used against crime if we don't want chaos, but that truth doesn't take away from the fact that even when the punishment is warranted, being jailed is soul destroying. Most families can only afford one visit per month, so you get to spend just 12 hours a year with your loved ones in a stressful visit room. That adds up to just 10 days over a 20 year sentence. You have no way to help your family emotionally or financially, and if any of them become unwell, there's not a thing you can do to help. The media like to shout about TVs and Playstations in prison, but a Playstation won't cure your mum's cancer, or let you get out to the hospice and hold her hand. Don't believe the media stories, being locked up is agony. In 2013, the head of the SPS, Colin McConnell, published an organisational review which moves the system in a more progressive direction, so there's much less violence than in the past. Most of the prisoners who had come into the system in the decades before me had been through oppressive regimes and approved schools, which were punishment centres for children who broke the law. They had been traumatised so much that they used violence for everything, from disputes to a means of communication. The Scottish prison system used to be punitive and had some aggressive warders. The result was widespread violence, riots and very high re-offending rates when the enraged prisoners were eventually released. The biggest change today is in the mindset of the average long-term prisoner, which is healthier, I think, as a result of cultural changes in society and in the prison system. Unfortunately, there are still some warders who haven't changed, mostly in short-term prisons and in institutions which hold young people. All warders should be professional and consider what sort of people they're releasing back to society, either calm or enraged. Being removed from society and locked up is a severe enough punishment. Extra torment or mistreatment is unnecessary and very destructive and could potentially cause future crimes. If there's one message I can give to young people is that crime doesn't pay. Most crooks admit that quick money never lasts, it's always fast in, fast out. And the time you spend locked away from your loved ones, especially your children, is priceless and can never be given back. Crime is like taking a gamble in the bookies. No matter how game or clever you may be, luck often runs out. Every criminal thinks they'll be the one that gets away, just like every punter in the bookies thinks his next horse will win. If your personality or circumstances cause you to commit crime, then be prepared for jail. You'll be locked in a cold place where you must try to survive, physically, mentally and spiritually. And that, my friends, is no easy task. You ask how, how could you, you're my son. Never pick me up again, never keep me safe with your warm embrace. I'm sorry, ma, I've jumped in to hell.